back for its ninth year, the Shine St. Petersburg Mural Festival is going to debut 17 new murals throughout art districts. And here today is Janae Preby, the director of the Shine Mural Festival, and artist Tracy Jones, a featured muralist for Shine 2023. Thank you both for being here. Thank you. It's Thank great you. to have you and to bring along your beautiful artwork. Thank you for bringing that. This is very exciting. Nine years. Yeah. What can we expect this year? It's going to be another great year. We've got 17 new murals coming up, 14 on the main lineup, and then we'll have a series of bright spot community projects. And this is a when we're talking about it's all throughout the art district. So this is a huge undertaking going, you know, in so many different places. How do people see it all? It is. We'll put a map out that'll come out next week that'll show you where all the locations are throughout town. You can plan your routes from there. You can also hop on one of our bike tours as well. Very cool. And obviously this is exciting for you getting to yes. do a mural. <laughs> yeah. um, so it's going to be featuring some of the work that you have here um, with us today. But what is your mural going to be? So my mural is going to feature a lot of kente cloth patterns. Um, I've been working with fabric a lot lately. And also it will feature the first black settler to St. Petersburg, who was John Donaldson. Uh -huh. So I just wanted to tell his story because it's been lost a little bit. So I, I wanted to put a piece of him in St. Petersburg. Yeah. Oh, that'll be so cool. Yeah. Have you done a mural before? Yes, I actually worked with Shine last year. Okay. Uh, that was kind of my first, it was huge, uh, huge, huge mural. But um, it was uh, with the uh, girls of Brookwood. Mm -hmm. It was a community mural. So it was really, 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 really um, nice experience. Yeah. And yeah. Have you started this year's mural? No. <laughs> How long is this going to take you? So it'll take me probably the week. We have a week to finish it. I'm pretty sure, um, you know, they won't be too happy if I don't. Yeah, you got to get my it deadline. Done. That's right. I have to get it done. So. so do you work on it all day long? And how do, how is the whole process? How does it happen? All day. Um, so basically, I just get there in the morning. I just paint as much as I can. I'll probably have some helpers with me mm -hmm. um, because it's a little bit of a beast. Uh, you know, I have yeah. a four sided building to work on. So um, it's just, you know, head down, get it done. Very cool. Yes. We're looking forward to seeing it. Thank sure. you. This is such a unique festival to be able to have in St. Petersburg. It's kind of become what St. Pete is known for. That's got to be very cool to have that, you know, label. It really is exciting. I mean, it's a great event and it's one of those things that like it, the event takes place over the course of a week, but those murals are available and accessible and free 24 seven all year round. Mm -hmm. So it's really unique in that way. And our hope is really just to be able to celebrate the power of creative freedom and get people out enjoying art and maybe people that wouldn't go into a museum or wouldn't go into a gallery on their own can go and appreciate high quality art outside. Yeah. So Tracy, where can we see your mural? My mural will be at the P, uh, the PSTA building okay. in Williams Park Very in cool. St. Petersburg. All right, we look forward to seeing it for sure. And if Thank people you. want to go and they want to participate, how do they, what are the dates? How do we know where to find the murals? So the festival this year is October 13th through the 22nd. You can go to our website, shinemuralfest.com for all the information. Wonderful, 17 new murals that are going to go up this year. Thank you both for coming by and sharing this cool festival with us. We appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you.